Now let's try question number 4. A beaker contains 0 0.1 moles of zinc chloride ZnCl2. A. Calculate the number of moles of chloride ions in the beaker. B. Find out the total number of ions in the beaker. Alright, so let's look at the textbook and uh, let's fill in some information here. So we have an ionic compound. Okay, the ionic compound is this ZnCl2. Okay, so ZnCl2 is like 1 Zn and 2 pieces of Cl. Okay, so this one is positive ion and the other one is negative ions. But at the moment, it's only sensible for us to know that there are two chlorine ions here, okay, indicated by these two. <coughs> Alright, so ZnCl2, we know that it has Zn2 plus, then we have Cl negative and another Cl negative. Perhaps they are contained in a formula units. Okay, they call it formula units. It's the same meaning as uh, capsules or sets. Okay, but I don't really want to call it from uh, molecular from molecular. Not really a molecule. All right. So how many chlorine ions are there? The the one in question A, they are asking for calculate the number of moles of chlorine chloride ions. Number of moles of chloride ions. Okay. So in this case, uh, the beaker contains 0 0.1 mole of zinc chloride. So this one, 0 0.1 mole. Okay, you have such amount. I'm sure since you have two Cl, so the number of mole for Cl is actually two times 0 0.1 Cl negative. Therefore, your answer should be 0 0.2 moles of Cl. All right. 0.2 moles of Cl because you have uh, two sets in every every uh, formula units. Now, B, find the total number of ions in the beaker. Just now they are only asking uh, how many moles, total moles of chloride ions. Now, the question asks for total number of ions. You see, the keyword is number of ions one capsule you have uh, three ions I don't care what type of ions whether it's positive or negative there are three types of ions there are three ions right so the number of ions you need to modify our formula a bit you put three in front then N and A and so because of these three times 0.1, 0 0.1 is given in the first place, 0 0.1 mole of formula units, 0 0.1 mole of the, the formula units. So this one, because there are 3 ions inside, so times 6.02 times 10 power 23. And so calculation will bring us to 0 0.3 times 6.02. That will give you 1.81 Alright, 1.81 times 10 power of 23 Ions Okay I don't really have to differentiate between positive and negative ions Because I just want to know how many ions all together Because I'm sure in, in all this It's not just one capsule There could be thousands and millions of other capsules together Alright, so now we look at number 5. Now we look at number 5. A container contains 1.806 times 10 power 23 oxygen molecules, O2. Okay, already telling us how many sets of uh, capsules. A sample of 0.5 mole of oxygen gas 
O2 again more sets are coming in but this is 0 0.5 chemistry dozen okay it's like half dozen coming in added to the container so how many molecules are there all together in the container it's like they initially the container already has uh, 1.806 times 10 power of 23 uh, oxygen molecule okay let's use different color and use a square they already have so many okay I decided to use the word so many because you know ultimately it, it can be calculated even though technically it's quite difficult so this is initially so initially this can be done but unfortunately uh, not to say unfortunately actually it's quite a fortunate thing that they want to add more of this okay I just put red O2 so that to differentiate that the, the black one is the old one the red one is the new one so this new so this uh, not to say old but it's uh, already present in the container so they are adding half chemistry dozen which is you can find more of this into the container now be careful because this one already imply and I just call it N1 because initially in the container I need to find N2 now so so far the question only concerned about how many capsules are there okay how many molecules are there altogether so we are still pretty much referring to how many sets of capsules how many sets of molecules are there so all you do need to do is find N2 N2 is the number of new sets of molecule so 0 0.5 times 6 power 2 times 10 power 23 so you must be able to get 3.01 times 10 power 23 uh, capsules okay let me also let you know what I mean. Right. So, the keyword here is uh, you need to add up N one and N two. All right. So a new page N one has one point eight oh six times ten power three. N two just now I have three point one times ten power three. Three. Okay. If you draw it. <laughs> it should be something like this. Okay, so you add up together, you get total sets, isn't it? So n total all together n one plus n two. You can do the maths yourself, I'm sure. Since they have ten power twenty three the same, so I would I believe that it is four point eight one six. 4.816 times 10 power 23 O2 this one they are added together already alright so that's question number 5 and you should be able to get this on your own alright of course uh, for form formal language it should be 4.816 times 10 power 23 oxygen molecules not atoms, alright? Not atoms at all.